Let's take a look at this text in my craft or sullen art is the title of it written by Dylan Thomas. I don't recall the date, uh, 1939 looks like, uh, I just, I, I didn't recall it, but I, if I just take a look down at the page here, uh, there it is 1939. It was published. Um, it was, uh, it's, I found it on poets.org and, uh, I'll analyze it and then I'll give some comments about it and apply the comments direct directly toward, uh, teachers uh, I'll go ahead and read it and then analyze it and give you some comments about it. In my craft or sullen art, exercised in the still night, when only the moon rages and the lovers lie abed with all their griefs in their arms, I labored by singing light, not for ambition or bread, or for the strut and trade of charms on the ivory stages, but for the common wages of their most secret heart. Not for the proud man apart from the raging moon I write on these spindrift pages, nor for the towering dead, for their nightingales and psalms, but for the lovers, their arms round the grief of the ages, who pay no praise or wages, nor heed my craft or art. Wow, um, uh, this poem uh, is talking about one's craft. The specific craft that we find in this text is uh, writing. Uh, The craft that I want to make comments about after I analyze it is about instruction, teaching, uh, teaching learners. And so here, let's let's make a uh, take a look at some some uh, some things that I notice in this text. Um, It's two stanzas: stanza one, stanza two. Stanza one is larger than stanza two; it's got more lines. Uh, But if you take a look at the stanza, you see that actually stanza one and two have some couplets. So you got one one, line one in each stanza is a couplet. Line two, they they couple, they they actually rhyme. Uh, So you've got art apart, you've got night, right, you've got rages, pages, you've got a bed, dead, you've got uh, arms. And then now all of a sudden we've got something going on where you've got to skip over psalms. And you go down to arms here, but then you also light and, and bread. These don't have anything that rhyme in stanza two. You've got charms and then you've got arms down below. So arms and charms both rhymes with arms here. You've got stages, ages, wages, wages, and then heart and art. I think that this causes us, just this analysis of it, causes us to draw our attention to this section uh, this poem is titled "In My Craft" or "Sullen Art." Sullen just means sulky; it means in a depressed mood. So, when we talk about sullen art, we're talking about it, it, something that causes for sort of a depressed or sulky mood, sort of a down mood. But uh, in its, it's it's the speaker's craft; it's it's what the speaker does, and in fact, it's what the speaker does when the night is still, when the moon rages. So the moon is out when it's nighttime. And when lovers lie abed. So this is what the, the, the speaker is doing when other things, other people have, people have fallen asleep for the night, when the night has, has come in. So you can imagine someone at, at their singing light, their light at night when they are working on their craft and the craft just so happens to be writing. But you notice that no one else is around, right? No one else is around. In fact, I labor by singing light not for ambition or bread. This, is not, this, this person is not working in order to get a paycheck. This person is not working on their craft in order to uh, earn money and or to gain a recognition or attention. This person is sincerely working in order to uh, improve their, their craft. And their craft here, again, is the, the ability to write. So they work not for craft, not for uh, ambition. They work not for bread. So why do they work? Because they don't work. Also, they don't work for for the towering dead, with nightingales and, and you know singing birds and, and psalms that that may be about the the dead. Uh, they they work because this word right here, but is the key word here in the second stanza. But they do work for lovers. Their arms round the griefs of the ages. So. This person is writing for a reason. He, he or she is writing. Dylan Thomas, the speaker of this of this poem, is writing in order for for people who are lovers. 
they're writing they're writing for the people whose arms are round with grief. I imagine this idea of round um, someone who's maybe hugging someone else around with grief of the ages. The ages have grief. Just inherently the ages have grief. And and these same people, once again, just like he mentioned up here, these same people have no ability to pay. They don't give praise, but and they don't even heed the art that he that he does, but he is at night working for them. At night he is doing what he's doing for them. Okay, so how does this apply to the teacher and their world? Uh, teachers, they do much of what they do without recognition, without attention, without anybody's eyes on them. And if somebody's eyes is uh, somebody's eyes are on them, it's not necessarily going to bring much fanfare. They don't necessarily. So the teacher doesn't doesn't teach for ambitious reasons. And we all know the teacher does not teach for, for reasons of making more bread, right? Making money. But what the teacher does teach for is for the learning of the individuals who are in their learning space. And they teach for the learners of the individuals who will enter into their learning space. And they teach for the learners who were in their learning space. That is who they teach for. They don't teach for money. They don't teach for praise. They don't teach for wages, but they don't even teach for other individuals to, to heed their art because they don't even, uh, they don't do something where people often heed their art. They do it for other people, but they don't necessarily do it for the recognition of other people. They do it, uh, I would assume in this text without the author saying it, um, I, I see uh, the idea of the heart uh, in this text right here, their se- of their most secret heart, they do it but for the common wages of their most secret heart. The common wages, perhaps the love of it. And so, teacher, we teach for the love of it. Teacher, we teach not out of ambition, not out of bread. We teach for the love that we have for our craft. We improve our craft on a regular basis and we teach for the learners whom we had, whom we have, and whom we will have. Pretty good poem, I think, uh, by this author, Dylan Thomas. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, teachers, improve your work and don't worry about who sees it or not. Just keep getting better, even if your getting better is in the stillness of the night when the moon rages and when lovers lie.